Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry Jackson, out with the wild things. Summer rains and summer heat deliver surprises at our feet. They suddenly appear as if by magic. Tiny umbrellas formed in a ring, thought to be where fairies dance and sing. I'm speaking of mushrooms. They come in an incredible array of sizes, shapes, colors, and textures. While many mushrooms are edible, others are deadly. And the hunting of wild mushrooms for the table should be done only with considerable knowledge of their diversity and toxicity. Mushrooms play essential roles in nature, helping to recycle nutrients from other creatures that die. A mushroom is produced and nourished by a network of thread-like structures called hyphae that gather food and allow it to reproduce. As a mushroom grows, it consumes the needed nutrients, thus its offspring can't grow where its parent grew, and a ring of new mushrooms appears slightly outwards from where the parent had been. With each succeeding generation, the ring of new mushrooms becomes larger, hence the fairy rings we see. Following heavy rain, lawns are sometimes dotted with small white mushrooms that have no stem and are round to pear-shaped, white, and covered with a textured surface almost like that of a golf ball. Within a few days, marble-sized to lemon-sized mushrooms turn brown, and when the brown ones are stepped on, they seem to give off a puff of smoke or dust. It's this puff that gives these mushrooms their name, puffballs. The puff isn't smoke or dust, it's thousands of tiny spores to be carried on the wind, each capable of growing into a new puffball. Puffballs are easy mushrooms to identify because of their lack of a stem and rounded to pear-shaped form. They are edible when fresh, but quickly become undesirable as tiny worms take advantage of their nutrients. Puffballs also do no harm to your lawn. They simply take advantage of nutrients in the soil. The tiny white puffball most common in Florida is known as Lycoperdon, which literally means wolf breaks wind named by a scientist with a sense of humor for the odor produced by the release spores. Amanita mushrooms come in diverse sizes, shapes, and colors. All have a typical mushroom cap on a stalk with white gills on the underside. Some are edible, many are deadly. At first, an amanita is egg-shaped, much like a puffball. But while puffballs are edible, mistaking an amanita for a puffball can be lethal. A puffball has no stem. An amanita has a stem, though it's hidden during early growth. An amanita's stem can be revealed by slicing the mushroom in half. A puffball sliced in half is uniform throughout. A young amanita cut in half shows a cap folded over a hidden stem like a closed umbrella. An amanita grows from a cup at its base. Other mushrooms do not. If you find a mushroom with a stem growing out of a cup-like structure, it's likely an amanita. The tragedy of an amanita is that the poison works only after it has been digested. By then, it's too late. Collecting wild mushrooms to eat is not safe for those with a casual interest and minimal knowledge. In 1785, the British biologist James Bolton discovered a brilliant yellow mushroom growing among pineapple plants in a Canadian greenhouse. He described it as new to science and it is sometimes known as the plant pot dapperling. This mushroom grows in the wild throughout the tropics, favoring warm, rich, moist soils. But the plant pot dapperling still seems to favor the soils of potted plants, and with those soils it has been spread around the world, including to the United States, where it is often known as the yellow houseplant mushroom. It is also sometimes called the yellow pleated parasol, because it opens up to look like a two and a half inch yellow umbrella. The yellow house plant mushroom occasionally pops up in potted plants in southwest Florida, a beautiful surprise to some and a great concern for others. Within about 36 hours, it withers and begins to return to the soil. Enjoy it while you can. It's a beautiful world traveler and totally harmless to your house plant and to the touch, but don't eat it it can make you sick. Among the most distinctive of mushrooms are ones known as earth stars. Brown, ground-hugging, usually two to three inch diameter mushrooms with a small round structure at the center and several arms reaching out to the side like the limbs of a starfish. Earth stars are considered inedible. Over 60 species of earth stars are known and they can be found around the world. 
Earth stars first appear as a rounded structure similar to a puff ball, but then the outer layer of the structure splits and begins to peel back, revealing that an Earth star is multi-layered, much like an onion. The spores of an Earth star are produced in the rounded structure at the center, but the arms that form from the split outer covering perform two important functions. As they reach out, they curve downward, pushing dried leaves and debris away and raising the spore-producing structure as if on legs, allowing spores to be easily spread by the wind. Second, if dry conditions occur, the arms can fold once more over the spore-producing structure, producing a rounded form that is protected from drying out and sometimes capable of being blown, rolling across the ground in the wind to a new area. With the Wild Things is produced at the Whitaker Center and the College of Arts and Sciences at Florida Gulf Coast University. For the Wild Things, I'm Dr. Jerry Jackson. Thank you.